Hey y'all, welcome, welcome to my video. So today I am doing a winter's um, farmhouse DIY decor today for you guys. Um, I'm going to show you the pole right here, this little picture. Um, as you can see, um, winter was number one, then farmhouse, then Valentine's Day. So I figured I'd do a little bit of winter and um, farmhouse together. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and um, this collaboration um, that Amanda from Six Kids in a Glue Gun and Brenda from Rustic and Lace are putting on for us today. So I hope you guys enjoy um everybody's projects today and you can go ahead and watch that down in my description box and of course the dog starts barking ah oh well for my winter project number one i'm going to be using this napkin um i think it's called ninny's napkins is where i ordered it from and then i'm using an mdf board this snow white chalk paint by plaid in the Waverly brand. I just give it one little coat here. That way you won't see the MDF board um, behind the tissue paper. Once that dried, I will take um, this Mod Podge. This is a waterproof Mod Podge or dishwasher safe or whatever it's called outdoor. Um, that's all I had on hand right now. Um, this napkin did have two layers on it. I didn't show you me struggling with that. Then I go ahead and line it up. I went ahead and scooted it up because I didn't want the upside down on top of my frame here. Then I'm just going to iron that and do the burn method around my project here. It's just going to burn the edges of the napkin. That's it. Just took a second. And then I have this trim piece that I picked up from Menards. I'm going to go ahead and trim it down with my little mini table saw here. And I believe I cut it 8 by 5. Probably a little shy of 5. And you guys, I don't know what I was thinking after I made this. Because I really should have done the corners at an angle instead of straight. But... I was already going and I didn't feel like going out and buying another trim piece to fix my mistake. So it is what it is on this one. Um, now I'm just taking the Antique Wax by Plaid and the Waverly brand and just stain, doing like a stain effect on here. And just paint it on and wipe it off like so. And then I'm going to use some of my Dollar Tree Super Glue Wood Glue and attach all my pieces. And I'm using these little clamps from the Dollar Tree. Go ahead and do the other side. And this is where I realized like, oh shoot, I probably should have done the angles. <laughs> but that's okay. And then this one was just a tad bit too big so the five inch was a tad bit too big i just trimmed a little piece off probably an eighth of an inch now i'm using these little tim holtz sing um, little chipboard pieces um for my little center piece here and then i'm going to use some of these pop dots that i got from the dollar tree and i do um, use four of them and then I will use just a tad bit of wood glue around them just so they stick to, to everything, you know. And that's it. Attach it like so. And then I will take this gold marker from the Dollar Tree, the metallic marker, and I just went around the entire edges of the little saying. And then I did a few dots all over the entire artwork. That's it super easy now i did put a hanger on the back of this but i didn't show you guys that and this is it i hope you guys enjoyed my very first project today so uh, my winter project number two i'm going to be using this um, cute little house that i picked up from hobby lobby when they have a sale of course 
and then I'm going to use my antique wax again um, like I used in my first project I'm going to stain the entire house with this wax front back sides bottom you name it all of it and I just brush it on um, and then I just wiped it off with a napkin and then brush it on wipe it off brush it on wipe it off okay and now I tried to use this tape and I forgot that tape doesn't really stick to wax but um, I did want to make my roof white and I wanted it to look distressed look but this was giving me like a muddy tan brown and I didn't like that I wanted white so I had to clean that brush out just a bit here and now we're going to go ahead and get that white on um, the roof here and I'm doing the front the sides and the top and the little chimney I also paint white as well and I just did one coat one brush I want this to kind of be a rustic and I did miss some spots here and there, but not a lot, just here and there. Okay. And that's it, just one coat. This is a pretty fast um, project, you guys. The fastest I, I think I've made a project. <laughs> Okay, so after that, I am going to take this ornament that I got from the Dollar Tree. Um, I do have two of these in my stash. I have one left now. So I figured I should use one of these up since I accidentally bought two of them. <laughs> it's what happens when you forget what you have and then you go and shop more. Um, but I did go through all of my stuff this year. And I will have a organized video coming out for you at the end of the month. Of me organizing my craft room after all the ending holidays um, it just got pretty wild in here <laughs> all right and then I'm going to take this little snowflake that I got from the Dollar Tree and just take a baby wipe damp baby wipe just damp on or damp on pounce on <laughs> with this damp baby wipe some of this white chalk paint that's it and then I will go ahead and use um, I used my three-in-one glue also to glue down that reef to the house I really like using this glue I think I'm going to use it a lot more this year than hot glue um, I noticed this year when I hang stuff on my front door I, every time I used hot glue it melted right off um, the sun hits my house like all day and all afternoon and all evening on my front door. But you guys will have to let me know what you thought of this project. So moving on to project number three. I'm using one of these um, trees that I had in my stash from when I was with Chalk Couture. Sorry I'm no longer with Chalk Couture and I have no idea if this is even available. Um, I do have some friends that are still with Chalk Tour, so if you are interested in something, um, I'm pretty sure I can get you hooked up with somebody that could tell you more about those trees. So I'm taking these little bamboo sticks that I ordered from Amazon, giving them one coat of the Waverly Wax. And um, after I give it the one coat, I am going to wipe them off to make it look like they have been stained. So I hope you guys are enjoying my video. I only have three for you today. And um, this one I think might be my favorite. I don't know. I kind of like the house too with the reef. That one might be my second favorite. And then the napkin maybe my first or my last favorite. I don't know. I really like them all. I think they're all cute. But I think my favorite one is this tree today. You have to let me know and see we just wipe it right off okay that's it and then I'm going to take um, I don't know what this is called maybe like miter shear maybe maybe that's what it's called and I'm going to trim this down and I'm doing it at a 75 degree angle 
and then I'm going to glue this down to the tree. And I'm going to sand those ends because boy were they were a hot mess. Now you guys, instead of taking that wax and staining the ends, I used one of those little wood markers because um, I noticed after I glued them all down that they were raw edged. So I took, um, and I didn't show you guys this, but I took one of those markers um, the little furniture markers from the Dollar Tree and I just use those. <laughs> it was so much easier. Okay, and then I'm using this ribbon and go all the way up. I trimmed it, the ribbon off to the edge and now I'm taking three of those snowflakes from the Dollar Tree and I'm doing the same method with the baby wipe and just rubbing a little bit on each to make it look like a little stain effect and i just love this one this one's my favorite today i think i hope you guys enjoyed it you'll have to let me know and i just glued everything down with my three-in-one glue besides the wood uh, bamboo sticks i did use the super glue wood glue from the dollar tree so what you think guys I think I have a few more of these trees too because it comes with like a large one and like the small one like you saw. But I think I have like a nut, like two more of these I think in my stash. So you might see a few more of these um, next year on my channel. Or I should say the end of this year because this video is coming out on the first. <laughs> now that I think about it. Okay guys, so here is the final um, winter projects reveal. I hope you guys enjoyed. You'll have to let me know which one was your favorite today. I really like snowflakes and deers and like foxes and snowmen and like wintry trees for like winter decor. I don't know. You guys have to let me know what's your favorite winter decor. And like owls. <laughs> like white owls. Snow beauty shines brighter than that of a good heart. Is that one your favorite? Or is the house? The house is super cute. And it was super affordable. It was like $3.99. And then you, you get the 40% off when they have their little 40% off the um, wood stuff. So it's not too bad. It ends up being almost Dollar Tree price. And then this cute little tree. I absolutely love it. Love it. I love it. One, two, or three. Which one's your favorite, guys? I'd like to thank the host today for having me on the playlist, and thank you to all my subscribers and all your continued support here on my channel. If you are new here, please like, subscribe, comment, and share. It really helps me grow on YouTube, and I appreciate all that you do when you do that. Also, if you hit that bell button, you can be notified every time I upload a new video. I want to say thank you again for watching Sunflower Tasha DIYs. You can follow me on Instagram on my personal account or you can follow me on my gallery account. My personal is obviously my personal and then my gallery is just where I post pictures of things that I had made on my YouTube channel. Once again, thank you so much for all that you do and all your continued support. Bye!